Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Cook and I work at Mid-Minnesota Legal Aid with Project Care and I'll be your host for today's presentation. Thank you for joining us for, to for us today for our fifth session of Because Your Health Matters, the expected, unexpected, and everything in between. Today, we'll be discussing open enrollment for 2021. Feel free to ask questions throughout the presentation and our presenter will be able to answer them at the end of the presentation during our Q&A segment. If you have more specific questions, feel free to call us at the number below and one of our certified Minster navigators would love to help. Otherwise, you can click on the link below, which will bring you to our website, which has plenty of useful information. Our presenter for today will be Ifra Abdullahi, who is a certified Minster navigator at Min Minnesota Legal Aid with Project Care. Thank you, Amanda. Um, as Amanda mentioned, um, our topic today will be about um, open enrollment. And let's talk about what open enrollment is. So before I go through what open enrollment is, um, let's stop here and ask ourselves, why should I have health insurance? Or why is it really important for me to have a health insurance? Um, as you see here on top left, there's a chart explaining that someone without health insurance will be responsible of any medical expenses they will get paid um, they will pay all the cost um, compared to someone who has a health insurance where um, their premium will be covered and then they're uh, left out with a small portion that they will pay out of their pocket so having insurance can save you from a big bills and also um, in our current situation that we are living in with a pandemic and it's and which is a really serious situation that everyone needs to um, have health insurance also insurance company contract with um, providers so that you get um so that you get um discount for your health insurance so um, let's talk about what is open enrollment. So open enrollment period, it's the time that everyone gets the opportunity to enroll in healthcare. And it's also um, the time that um, you get to choose your health plan. If you want to change your health plan and look for a different health plan, this is your opportunity. And also if you need to drop or add a dependence, this is the chance that you can do so. Um, also, um, it is the time to change your plan or enroll in health, um, in a private insurance during the year, unless you are qualified for um, life events such as um, marriage, um, childbirth, or um, if you if you lost your job, then these are the exceptions that will allow you to um, change your your health coverage during the year. So, open enrollment already started. Um, um, on November 1st, and it will go through December 22nd of 2020. So this is a really short period of time that everyone needs to enroll um, into a health insurance. Um, if you pass these dates, then you will be left out with no health insurance. And um, so for those who are eligible for Minnesota care or either med um, medical assistance, will uh, can apply any time during the year and not necessarily during open enrollment. So the plan that you ch you chose um, during open enrollment will be effective January to um, January first, twenty twenty one, and then again, um, the open enrollment was on November first, and it will go through December twenty second. So don't um, don't pass. December 22nd, otherwise you will end up having no health insurance till the following year. So um, what are the options that are available on Minsure? So before I go through the options, let's talk about what's uh, Minsure. Let's define what Minsure is. So Minsure, it's a marketplace where Minnesotian can find, compare, and get quality health care coverage that, um, that is the best fit for your need and your budget. So the options that are available on Minsure, it's that the plan that you get um, get offered or the plan that you chose and you get offered, it might vary by county. So all counties have at least two companies available to choose from. It's always depends into the county that you live in. So these are the companies that might be available um, in your county, um, which is um, Cordex, Medica, UCARE, Health Partner, Blue Cross, Blue Shield. And um, if so, each company has multiple plan option divided in.
into three middle levels, bronze, silver, and gold. The bronze level, uh, the bronze plan have the cheapest um, premium but high in deductible, where gold has highest um, premium but cheap um, but lower in deductible. So then let's explain a little bit about how the process um, gets done. So when you're applying the health insurance or the health, the health coverage, um, you need to go to the mensure.org and also you need to pre, uh, prepare and prepare your documents uh, and provide um, your documents to mensure, for example, your household income, your household size. If you have a second health insurance, you need to provide to the mensure and then Minsure will determine your eligibility for financial assistance. Then you will get to choose health, the health plan. So after you choose your health plan, you need to report any changes that occurs during, um, during the year. For example, let's say that you lost your job or um, you lost your job, you got married, you lost someone or um, you, had a, you have a baby. So all these occurrences need to be reported during the year. Files must, um, taxes must filed, and if you are married, you should file tax jointly. So there are two types of insurance subsidies. The first um, financial assistance uh, of insurance subsidy called advanced premium tax. So um, advanced premium with, a, with tax credit, um, you can use to lower, you can, you, you can, used to lower your monthly payment, which is the premium. And um, it, it can be applied to any these three um, plan levels, brown, silver, and gold. And um, tax credit is always based on your household income, which is gonna be between 200% to and 400% of your federal property guideline. And then the second um, financial assistant called cost sharing subsidy which is gonna minimize your deductible and your coinsurance or copay. And it's only applied for silver plan. And um, this is it's for the lower income families that um, their income it's between 2% to 250% of their um, brevity guideline. So here is a table that is more visualized about what I was talking about and um, so here are some healthcare financial assistance. So this is uh, the income, the income limits. So for example, let's say that your family, it's um, it's your family size, it's um, it's about like two people. So your household, it's two people, and your income, it's between 34,048 to six six sixty eight thousand nine hundred sixty which is then it will you will be um, eligible for tax credit. And also um, here are the, the federal brevity guidelines that were, I was talking about um, between 200% to, to 400% will allow you to be eligible for tax credit. So if your federal brevity guideline income will be between 200 to 200% to 200% to 250%, then you will also be um, qualified for cash sharing financial assistance. So this is just um, an explanation and more visualized about the number of your household compared to your, your income. So we are uh, navigators, um, I'm insured certified navigators and um, from Mid Minnesota Legal Aid. We are here to help you if you have questions, if you need to apply for healthcare insurance or um, you need to renew, we're always here to help you. No question is too small. You can you can call us at any time at the number at the the number that you see on the bottom, which is 320-253-0121, or our email for Project Care. Um, we get appointments by phone or video, um, especially nowadays that we don't go on face-to-face -face site. So um, our services are for free. So if you need help. Um, you won't have to um, you won't have to pay or anything for our services so our navigators are bilinguals and they speak more than one language if you if you are someone who don't speak english and you need an interpreter we always have interpreters so please do not hesitate if you have any questions 
now we're gonna go and um, if you have a question about our topic today you can just drop in at the chat otherwise um, if you have more private um, insurance or general if you have more private question or, or um, related to your healthcare or anything like that, just give us a call at the number 320-253-0121 that we are more we are more than happy to help you. Thank you. Thank you, Ifra. Um, now we will be moving into our Q&A segment. Um, we do have a couple questions here. Um, the first question we have is, what's going to happen if I did not enroll during open enrollment period? So if you did not enroll during open enrollment, then um, what's going to happen is that you're going to end up having no health insurance till the next following year of the open enrollment. So next year of during open enrollment, that's the only chance that you will able to have health insurance. Otherwise, you are um, not going to have any health insurance and you're going to end up having um, being out of your bucket for all medical expenses. Okay. And another question that we have is how long is open enrollment? So open enrollment's already started um, November 1st but um, it will go through December 22nd of this year. So it's your time that you get advantage of this short period of time. Um, it's your opportunity to enroll into a health insurance. Okay. And we're currently waiting for more questions to come in. Um, once another one comes in, I will ask. Right, so another one that we have is, can I qualify for both tax credit and cost sharing um, at the same time? Yes, so you can um, be qualified for both um, financial assistance. So um, it depends on your income um, in your household income. So if it's your income, um, your federal property guideline income, it's between 200% to 400% that you will um, only qualify for tax um, tax credit but if it's less than um, for, uh, it's like if it's between 200 to 250 percent of federal property guideline then you will be qualified for both but um, always it depends into the plan level that you choose or the plan level that will be available for you always cash sharing is um, it's only applied into a silver plan okay well it looks like that is all for our questions that we have for our presentation today um, so that is all for our presentation. If you think that either Spanish or Somali would be better for you, we have a Sp Somali presentation next Wednesday at 1 o'clock and a Spanish presentation at 3 o'clock, and everyone is welcome to join. Next month, we will be talking about Minster Myths, um, so please join us for our next session. Thank you again for joining us. I hope everyone has a wonderful day.